Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video and in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple calculator using JavaFX based on model view controller design pattern or MVC design pattern. So let's first see how our design will look like and how it will work. So we are going to uh, create a calculator something like this okay and it's going to have uh, these buttons and these operators and uh, when we add want to add something we can just give the number add to this number and click equal to and it's going to give the sum so it's not going to be very fancy calculator it's a simple calculator but using this we are going to understand the basics of MVC in Java FX okay so let's get started first of all I will create a new project so new and others and I'm going to create a new Java FX project click next and this uh, Java FX project I'm going to name it as calculator FX for example okay click next and click finish so our project is created and in the source there is a package called application as we always have and there is a main.java class. Now let's prepare the basic skeleton of classes uh, we are going to use. So I'm going to go to this application package and click new and I'm going to create a new class here and first class I'm going to create is a model class so I will name it as model itself and click finish and second I'm going to create a controller class so right click new class and I will name it as main controller and click finish okay so we have uh, our controller class model class and our main class now we are going to create a fxml file so right click and create new other and create a fxml document so new fxml document and i will name it as main okay and click finish so now we have all the files which we require so let's create a skeleton of uh, the model and we are going to go to the model and this model is just for the functionality so we want to calculate something in our calculator right so we are going to create uh, this model I will name it as public and the return type will be a float for example and it's going to take few arguments but first name our function as calculator or calculate better right so the name of our function is uh, calculate and it's going to take uh, two numbers and data type of these numbers will be long so number one for example and number two and the data type of second number is also long and the third argument it's going to take is the operator and operator we are going to provide in the form of string so just uh, provide a string a variable name for example operator okay and for now let's return return zero for now so that it's not going to give you uh, the error of return type but in here in bit between here we are going to create our code for the calculation but it will be a little bit later right and now just go to your uh, main controller class and in here we are going to create two method one will be uh, public and the return type will be void and I will name it as process numbers okay and as an argument we are going to give the action event here and action event should be uh, our java fx event right it should not be uh, awt or swing so just choose the proper option which is java fx event action event and give the name to your uh, variable for example event the second method i'm going to create here is the process operators function so process operators right 
So now we have uh, two classes, controller and model. In the controller class, we have two uh, method. One is process number, another is process operator. And in the model, we have uh, one method, which is calculator, and it takes argument. One is number one, and other is number two, and third or uh, argument is here the operator, which can be plus, minus, divide, or multiply, for example, right? So now everything is done. So let's design our calculator. So this is our FXML file. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to open it with the help of scene builder. So this is our FXML file, which is empty right now. And it contains this anchor pane. So for now, I'm going to delete this anchor pane and I'm going to go to this uh, containers category here and I'm going to choose a vertical box or V box and drag and drop here okay and the default size uh, for this i'm going to choose so click here layout and in here the default size is right now 600 by 400 i'm going to give it 300 by 300 okay so 300 by 300 so the pref width is 300 and pref height is 300 and the spacing here i'm going to give it as 10 okay so it will resize according to that. Now inside this vertical box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stack pane and uh, just drag and drop inside the vertical box. And uh, the height of this uh, stack pane, I'm going to give it as 50, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the horizontal box or H box. So search for H box and i'm going to drag and drop this edge box also just below the stack pane okay so you can see the hierarchy here first parent is v box then the stack pane inside it and then the horizontal box now we are going to change the width and height of this uh, horizontal box also so just go to pref width and give the width of uh, 300 because it's the size of our vertical box so 300 by 50 so height will be 50 and provide the spacing of uh, 10 here okay and now we will go to the properties of this uh, horizontal box and the alignment for this will be center okay so this is our horizontal box now in our edge box we are going to take some controls from here and drag and drop some buttons so provide a button and just copy this button and paste it three more times in here. So two, three and four. Okay. Now select all the buttons one by one. So I have selected all these four buttons. Now go to the properties and choose this property called fonts under properties. And we are going to change the font size to 18. Okay. So just choose the font size to 18. Now you can see these buttons have uh, some width also. So just go to the layout properties of uh, these buttons. And in here, we are going to provide the width of these button as 50, okay? So give 50 width and press enter. So they will look like this. Now let's save uh, this uh, scene. So just uh, go to file and click save. And now we will go to the Eclipse IDE and now we can see here all the buttons are uh, present here, right? With the font size, okay? Now let's give some uh, text to these buttons. So right now uh, the text on these button is the default text, which is button. So this is our first row of uh, numbers. So we can give uh, these text to uh, these buttons, seven, eight, nine, and these this divide uh, symbol, okay? So just give it seven, eight, nine, and forward slash, okay? And save it and go to your uh, FXML file and you can see the text is set here, okay? So now we are going to do the same for uh, the other rows also. So the simple uh, trick for doing this is just copy 
your uh, horizontal box so just copy this from here and then paste it once again here okay once again and once again so we have uh, four rows of numbers okay now the second row of uh, numbers here we can see here four five six and asterisk so just save your uh, fxml file so just go file and save and then go to your eclipse and here you will see four horizontal box first is this one which we have already given these numbers seven eight nine and uh, forward slash to the second horizontal box buttons we will give uh, these number four five six and asterisk so just give uh, four five six and the asterisk symbol and then the third row we will give one two three and minus symbol so one two three and uh, minus and the fourth row is uh, zero equals to and plus right so the fourth row has only three buttons zero equals to and minus one so I'm going to delete the fourth button from here from the fourth row so that it has only three buttons and first will be a zero second will be the equal to button and third will be the addition button right now save it and go to your uh, scene builder and you can see this layout like this now let's provide the width of this uh, zero button so we will go to the fxml file from here and instead of giving the width of 50 to the zero button we provide the width of uh, 1 1 10 because we are go going to cover two button uh, width from this plus the space so it's going to be 100 plus 10 which is 110 so save it and go to the scene builder and we can see the width of this zero button is changed so these are all the buttons now in the stack pane just choose the stack pane and in here we are going to take a label so just take a label from here from the controls and drag and drop into the stack pane okay and you can resize this label according to the width of the stack pane and the font size we are going to provide it from the property so go to the property and provide the font size same as buttons so we will provide the uh, font size of 18 here okay and uh, let's say it's a bold uh, font okay and the text of this font i'm going to just uh, leave it as blank right so this is how your design will look like so we are going to see the preview so just click preview here and it's going to look like this okay now one thing which remains here is we need to add this main.fxml file to our main.java file so just open this main.java and instead of uh, using this border pane which is by default added we are going to uh, add the parent uh, root right so just add this line here parent root is equal to fxml loader dot load and inside the bracket get class dot get resources and the part to your fxml file which is in application slash main dot fxml just add uh, these imports from here import fxml loader so the basic layout for our project is done so we will save it and uh, run it and our calculator layout will look something like this okay now that's it for this video in the next video we are going to uh, add the functionality to this uh, calculator so we are going to write the code for uh, these two methods and this model method okay so stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now